Hello friends, Yuraj here. So now we are going to learn about Power Mocker framework. Okay, uh, so which is basically used to test the Java code only. So in the last video tutorial, uh, which is uh, for that, actually I have shared link here also. So in that video tutorial, we have seen that how to test our code with JVNet and with the help of Mockito framework. But now, uh, suppose we, uh, we need to test some static classes, static methods or private methods constructors. In that case, it is not possible to do the test, test for that using Mockito framework. So instead of that, we have to use Power Mockito here. So we will uh, see first what is Power Mockito. So it is just a framework that extends other mock libraries such as Mockuto with more powerful capabilities. So Power Mock uses custom class loader and bytecode manipulation to enable mocking of static methods, constructors, final classes, and private methods. So by using Power Mock, it will be easy us to test these methods or constructors. Okay. So the important annotations uh, with Power Mocker are run with, at the rate run with, and at the rate prepare for test. So we will uh, see uh, what is the use of these annotations in the implementation only. Okay, let me go to the implementation directly now. So here uh, I have just created. Okay, before that, uh, let me tell you what are the jar files you need. So if I go to the build path, so here you can see. Uh, there is one jar that is Java Assist 3.2 and next is Power Mock iPhone Mockuto release full 1.6. Okay, so these are the two jars you need to work with Power Mockuto. Then, uh, okay, so what I have done is I have just created one class math functions. In that, in this class, I have created one static method and one public method which calls private method so here if we use mockuto framework then it is not possible to test these two methods okay so that we are using power mockuto here so I just, for that uh, i have just created math functions test dot java class which is a test case so uh, let me show you by running this class only so here we do run as JUnit test so it uh, runs successfully okay so let me explain you and after that I will debug it okay first thing uh, we have used here run with annotation with power mock runner so what it does it helps to invoke the specified class that is power mock runner as a test runner instead of default runner so uh, this annotation tells the compiler that do not use any default runner instead of that use power mock runner next is uh, prepare for test so what it does it uh, prepare classes for testing which includes static private final and con uh, constructors means uh, we are uh, testing methods from this class if we have a multiple uh, classes to test so here we can uh, use a comma means uh, we can give comma separated classes here okay uh, so as uh, we have seen setup method is required which will be uh, means this method will be executed before executing the other methods and it have mock generation dot init mocks so it will just initialize the mock objects so first uh, we are going to test static method so what it does it is just a square method uh, which returns the square of a variable so for that suppose i have one expected variable or expected value which is 25 so there are some steps or some syntax to work with these static methods okay so uh, let me okay first thing power mock dot or mock it dot mock static and here uh, i have to uh, mention the name of that class in which uh, we have a static method and next is uh, here we are just uh, giving the main input and expecting some value so I'm calling square method here with some dummy input and it should return me the expected value 
okay then we will compare here we will directly call the uh, square method from math function class and here we will just compare whether it uh, returns the expected value or not if uh, it returns the expected value it means that our code uh, executes perfectly without any issue okay so this is for uh, static method and next is for private method so I have a private method which uh, I called from this public method okay so to test this private method what I have done let me tell you so as usual I just uh, mentioned here expected value so what it does actually this uh, method just do a multiplication okay so I have created one method with multiplication test then here I am creating object of that class with the help of power mocuto so uh, this is also some syntax which you have to remember so it returns me object of this math function class and here just I am uh, expecting some value with giving some input so uh, here uh, it shows how to prepare for private methods okay so what happens I have just created object of math function class into that multiplication is the name of my private method so my method is multiplication its name is multiplication so I have to copy as it is here into double flow double quote and the parameters so for my method I have two parameters that is int a int b both are integers so here I have to mention some parameter here both and what it returns the expected value okay so next is I am calling actual method that is my public method operations this method okay so into that I am just passing some variables some values and it should return me its result of operations means it should return me its multiplication and finally I will compare here okay so let me debug debug as JMET test so here expected is 25 the actual result is 25 so for square method it uh, returns a value correctly so this method get successful next uh, we are coming here for multiplication now so for multiplication expected is 9 so now here it will uh, go to directly our class okay so here uh, it will come 0 because we have just give dummy input as a 0 from here it will come here so actual value will be 3 multiply by 3 is 9 so both are so both the methods executed successfully but uh, you have been seen that uh, in case of static methods I have added breakpoint here okay but it doesn't come here so uh, this is also one drawback with power marketer that uh, if we are debugging the static methods then it uh, won't step into the particular method but in other cases like in private methods it goes to that class but the what is our requirement is that to test that method method so it will uh, done successfully okay so uh, these all these things about the power marketer framework but uh, suppose uh, if you want to check a code coverage for these as uh, you have seen code coverage as JNIT test okay so you have seen here zero coverage okay so uh, actually this is uh, also one drawback with the uh, power market to that you can't check the code coverage here directly with uh, any Eclipse plugin so for that you have to use offline instrumentation which will be a different part so in the next video tutorial we will see means 
how to check code coverage for power mercury framework okay so but uh, for now this video tutorial will uh, just show you how to test static private methods and constructors all